Good evening, fellow gardeners. Well, we're out here in the, in the, in the wind and the sun, and we're going to show you how to make some simple wicking buckets. We've had so many calls from the last videos we made, uh, Daniel Arms and myself, on how to make these wicking buckets. So many people can't find these tubs that we've been talking about because in parts of the United States, like in the Carolinas and in uh, El Paso, someplace in Arizona, they don't have any cattle, so they have none of these tubs. So we're going to have to teach them some other way to do this. So we're going to go through this simple, show you several ways, and you can pick out what you have at your house to make these wicking tubs out of. So here we're going to start out with the five-gallon bucket. The first thing we do, the concept of this is that we've got uh, water in the bottom up to this drill hole. We're going to drill a hole right here. We're going to have water this, this much in it. And I'm going to show you what we're using in here. We're using these pop cans. I think they're all over the United States. So we can set them pop cans in there. You can see this is the top of the can. So we're going to have a, a, a drill hole here that the, this is as full as it can get with water. We're going to have these cans on the inside setting up to here. Well, guess what? If you set these cans in there and you put a, a hole here and a hole here in each one of these cans and it sets in there and you fill up with water, this can's going to fill up with water just to that hole and then you're going to have about an inch of air above that water. This inch of air is the secret of this whole tub working, the wicking part of it. If we didn't have these in there and just fill that up with water and put the soil in there, it would soak up too much water. It'll drown every plant you put in it. So we're going to show you some things to use around your house to make you some wicking buckets. This is what we're going to do. We're going to drill a hole at the top and the bottom of each one of these cans. And I had one here that's had the hole in it, I guess it rolled off from me. Here it is. See how we drilled a hole here and a hole here. Now we're gonna turn these up side down. We wanna put this open part down because if you leave it up, soil will eventually fill that can up. So we're gonna turn them upside down where no soil can get in those cans. The bottom part will be sitting on the ground and the soil won't go in it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a ring all the way around the outside and then we're going to put two crossways in the middle. Now, you see my vacant spot here and here, plus there's a little bit of vacant spot between each one of those cans. That's where the soil is going to go all the way down in there to the bottom. And see, of the soil that you could have in the bottom, you're only going to have about 25% of your soil down in the bottom that would be in there if you didn't have them cans in. We'll eliminate some of that soil to going down into water. This is a way you can make one out of a five gallon bucket and your uh, pop cans that you have at home. Now what you'll do, you'll just put your potting soil in there, push it down between all them cans, pack that down in there, then put you a little more soil on top of them cans. Then we're going to put two tablespoons of the sustain. We're going to put one tablespoon of the sea mineral in there. Also, we're going to add one teaspoon of lime one teaspoon of Epsom salt, and then we're going to put our soil on top of that, on up to the top. And then we're going to plant our one pepper. We're going to put four spinach, four lettuce, you know, 25 green onions, 18 radishes, and grow anything in there you want to, or you can put three or four flowers and let them hang over the side. This is one way to make the bucket with aluminum cans in a five gallon bucket, okay? Now we're gonna take the same five gallon bucket. We're gonna have the have a same hole in it up here, about four or five inches up. It's, it's immaterial about exactly where you go. Just as long as you stay below what you've got in here to fill the bottom up with. You can see here now, uh, this is gonna be up to water up to here, and from here up to here will be air. That's okay. We're going to have that much air in there to keep it from drowning. So what we're going to do, we're going to take your water bottles 
And I think you can find them all over the United States. Matter of fact, we just saw this last week where there's a big whale uh, died and floated up on a, on a sandbar and they cut, looked, cut into his stomach and he had 86 pounds of this plastic in his stomach. That's the reason he died. So this is the reason we came up with this, trying to find out ways that we can keep from letting these water bottles and plastic bottles of all kinds go into the ocean. So what we did, there again, we punch a hole at the top, we punch a hole at the side down on the bottom, and that lets the water, as it goes in, it's gonna push the air out this hole up here. That way, the, otherwise, if you don't punch this hole, they'll float up out of there. So we put them in there like that, same situation as the cans. We got a, a row all the way around the outside. Each one of them has a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top. Then we leave this little room on each side of these two here. It doesn't make any difference. You put them all over one side, make the whole one hole right here. Just as long as you get it where you've got nearly all of that space cut off. And then you just put your potting soil down through all of those cracks that you have between those bottles and pack it down. Get it up here halfway of your can. Put your uh, two tablespoons of sustain, one tablespoon of sea mineral. You put your teaspoon of lime, a teaspoon of Epsom salt, and, and a teaspoon of gypsum. And here we go again. You can use this for a wicking tub. And then you put your soil up here to the top and you're ready to garden. Now, some of them had a concern about what about adding the rain where we get 10 or 12 inches of rain at one time. Okay, you just round this soil up on top then you take a piece of plastic and put over that and wrap you a string right around here so that the plastic can't blow away. If it rains 10 or 15 inches, most of it's gonna run off and not get in your, uh, your can anyway. And it, of course, it's okay for it to rain in it. It's just gonna leach your fertilizer out is what's gonna happen. Anyway, this is just a couple of ways we can show you how to build wicking tubs out of five gallon buckets. Now this is the one I've been teaching you for the last couple of years is to make. We drill one hole five inches up. We take our gallon water bottle, tea jugs, milk jugs, your Tide, your Downy jugs, anything that's a, near a gallon or so or a gallon and a half. We're gonna drill holes at the bottom and the top on the sides we can do it on the, both sides if you want to. You set it in the middle and you can fill that up with soil. But after I heard about the, di the whale dying, I said, we got to keep those pop bottles out of there also. So now then, we take four uh, pop bottles, we drill a hole at the top and at the bottom on the sides. We put four of those bottles in there, just exactly like we doing right here. This keeps them out of the ocean and it also gives you more water holding capacity in that five gallon bucket. Now then you have a gallon in there and you have four bottles. Same concept. Put your soil down through the cracks you see until it gets up to the top of your bottle. You put your fertilizer in there, fill it on up with soil and plant your plant. Or if you want to put a top on it, put your plastic, round it up and put your plastic on it. Tie a string around it and plant your plant, cut a little X in there, punch your plant through the plastic and you're gone again.